Welcome to my screencast how to build a performance point 2010 dashboard using a time intelligence filter. I want to show you today how to build a dashboard on a SSAS cube which we can filter on a, to a specific point in time using the new performance point time intelligence filters. The time intelligence filters within performance point provide users with a quick way of specifying dates using everyday terms like today, last year, last six months instead of having to select from a calendar control or pick different measures or metrics. We're going to start by running the dashboard designer in SharePoint 2010. And then we're going to add a data source. I'm going to use my AdventureWorks cube, AdventureWorks, and then we select AdventureWorks. Now we give it a name, ADV time demo, and we go to the new tab, the time. What we can see here when we select date, uh, date, we see we can connect to one member, but when we select to a hierarchy, like date and date and calendar, we can add a lot of me uh, time member associations. And this is important because we want to have as much as many time member associations as possible because we can use as uh, many functions when we've got multiple levels like year semester quarter month and date we can use all the functions like last year last semester last quarter last month today okay we select the, the calendar and now we need to link uh, our calendar to the current date since the time intelligent functions of performance point always will use the current date to determine what is today, what is this month, what is last month, we need to map the member of the cube to our current date. I'm going to show you a little trick. Since we, we don't have data of this year, I will link the January 1st of 2008 to January 1st of 2010. So we can and use date. Okay, we can say calendar year is the year, as calendar semester is a semester, semester, a quarter, uh, this is the month, this is the day. Okay, we can do save. And now we have time intelligent functions available to us. We have configured it as we, uh, we need to say here, it's a day. Okay, the time intelligent functions are now available to us and now we can add them can start by creating the new filter which we want to use and I want to say I want the time intelligence functions now we want to add the data source the time demo and now we can enter all the formulas we want to use to filter on we can say for example I want the current month and we say current month I want uh, the same month last year we can do year minus one month current month last year i want last month month minus one last month the uh, previous six months where we can do the month minus five until the current month i want to see the six months back from a year ago year minus one month minus five until current month. I want to see the year to date. Year to date. We say here six months back last year. And I want the year to date until the last full month. So let's say we are now in uh, February the 21st and this month is not, or not com completed. So the year to date will only run until the last full month, which is January full month. And now we can press the preview button. So we can see current month is 2008 month two. And that, as we have just have seen, he thinks 2010 is mapped to 2008. So he understands with the current month we're in and, we, and he thinks we are now in 2008. And we can see last year minus one is 2000, 2007 February. Last month is 2008. This is the year before. This is 
the current year to date and current year to date to the full month. Okay, we can do next. We want a list to be created to use these functions. And we say time function. And I want to do it in the time and demo. Okay, and now we can just add a new. Uh, we can uh, we can use them. So we're going to start by creating a report, and I want an analytics chart, and we want to see. We want the sales amount and quota by sales territory. Now we don't want to see the all. We want to see the. specific areas okay now one important thing to remember is we're going to link this up to the time intelligent functions now one way to uh, filter on a chart is by using the background and we can just say the same we can use the date calendar on the background which we can link to in a later stadium next we're going to build a KPI And we want to use the same sales amount. Okay. And we want to compare it to the sales amount quota. Okay. Now this is all okay. Time KPI. We can save it. Now we just need to build one into the dashboard into a scorecard otherwise we can then we can never use the KPI I can select the time keep KPI we can create finish time scorecard let's add uh, again sales territory Okay, and save it, and we can see how much. Now, next, we're going to build it on the tour dashboard. Okay, let's do the sales scorecard, the chart sales, and use the time functions filter. Now, now we're going to hook them up to each other. We're going to start by Remember unique name, I want to create a connection. I want my date calendar hooked up to my memory unique name. Okay. And I want to connect my time function to the sales scorecard. And I want to use the time formula. Connect to the time intelligence formula to my own formula and I click OK and we now can deploy the SharePoint and watch the end result and we now can see time intelligent functions we all have and we can say select another we can use the current month of last year and we see the values are changing I can go six months back I go my year to date I can get my last month and you see this is how easy it is to use time intelligent functions in a dashboard in with performance point thank you for watching